Pinch Punch, it's the first of the month. Tuesday the 1st of August. I'm FX Pluer and this is the Market Brief. Now, consumer lending rose to a five-year high last month. That's according to data released yesterday. Normally, this would be a sign of a growing economy where the borrowing is to buy new cars or consumer goods. But it appears that households are just borrowing more to supplement their household budgets in the face of the continuing cost of living crisis. There may be trouble ahead. Uh, the continued rate hikes coupled with high inflation means that monthly payments on loans, overdrafts and credit cards are at the highest level in a generation. Quite frankly, this is when you should be paying down your debt, not adding to it. Um, slightly better economic news came as data showed that store prices dipped for the first time in two years. Uh, this presents a clue suggesting that inflation has indeed peaked and is beginning to respond to the rate hikes. And that all rather adds to the case for the MPC to double down with their aggressive policy action from last month and hike by another 50 basis points this week. However, with wider expectations still carding a 25 basis point rate hike, there's everything to play for on Thursday. Uh, now, over in the US, dear old Donald is extending his lead over Ron DeSantos. Despite wide, uh, widespread condemnation of his methods and the small matter of fact that he's facing a criminal trial, the prospects of another four years of Trump is becoming increasingly more likely only in America. Uh, Wall Street is finally warming up to the idea that the Fed has delivered the impossible by bringing inflation back down close to the 2% target without trashing the economy. Um, the July inflation data, which is due out next week, is expected to be at least knocking on the door of the Fed's 2% target, and the recession risk looks pretty limited. So unless there are any nasty surprises on non-farm Friday this week or in the inflation data next next week, those who were calling a recession as just round the corner uh, will probably have to change their tune. Um, as all this means that the Fed will probably call time on any more rate hikes in the short to medium term at least, this will place a ceiling over future dollar gains. Indeed, the dollar index is struggling to break through the 102 level. We topped out at 101.90 yesterday. Uh, Sterling began the week on the back foot, dropping to 128.25 against the dollar, uh, and we kick off this morning at the same level against the dollar. Uh, we're 116.75 against the euro, uh, and euro dollar is around 109.90 on the open. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.